Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So glad you're here. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. We're doing some spooky decorating today. So I hope you can stick around. When the first Cabinet of Curiosities, or Wonderkammer, opened to the public in the 16th century, it was a sight to behold. An extraordinary collection of objects ranging from shells, fossils, minerals, and taxidermied exotic animals, to paintings, books, sculpture, scientific apparatus, unusual oddities, and artifacts of ethnographic and archaeological interest. Well guys, another blank canvas to work with. Um, this is in my dining room. We have an old piece of furniture from my grandmother and a cubby in the wall that was here when we moved in, they actually extended and added on to this house. So this would have actually been an exterior window that they just converted over into a shelf. So we are going to use that and pack it full of goodness. I absolutely love antique furniture. It has so much detail and it stands the test of time. Especially if you love Victorian um you know, anything Victorian era, then you'll love antique furniture because of all the detailing. But I have the top that I have placed a runner on. It's very thick, uh, like almost a tapestry, and it's a very basic black and beige. This tray I found at the flea market, and it is antique butterflies. They are pressed under glass and um, backing of cotton. First, I wanted to get a few things together. I found these at a yard sale, very cheap, um, plastic and gold ornate, so definitely what I'm going for. And I printed off a couple pictures to go in these. The one is a wolf man. The other is a play on the old portraits you would get where it's a hidden mother photo with her child, but this is... Um, a doll instead and if you want to check out subject dolly on instagram because she has a really neat account if you like kind of the creepy side of dolls now this is from um an old game and these pictures are just the perfect size for uh, you know stealing some eyeballs <laughs> for my glasses i have an old pair of glasses they're antiques and I'm going to take the eyes, um, trace around them using my glasses as the template. And then I'm going to cut them out and take a little bit of Elmer's glue and put that on the rim of the glasses. Put the eyes in there and just let them dry overnight. If there was any hangover, I just used a razor blade to clean it up so it looked nice and neat. But I love the look of the eyes and the glasses. It also looks really neat when you do that with um, a magnifying glass. Here is the finished project. And I've taken the glasses and stuck them in a cast iron hand. And that's how I'm going to use them. You don't have to have real bugs. You can have fake bugs. Um, you don't have to have a large cabinet in order to make your own cabinet of curiosities. You can have a suitcase. Um, just a little typeset tray, anything like that, and just stuff it full of things that are interesting. Anything placed in vials, bottles, or under a cloche immediately adds interest.
I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I hope it gives you some inspiration to do your own cabinet of curiosities. Again, it doesn't have to be a cabinet. It can be a shelf. It can be a box that you fill with wonderful, whimsical, and curious items. And um, I just love this type of stuff so, so much. It um, reminds me of, of my own little mini museum of curious wonders. And I keep it around me all the time, 24-7, 365 days a year. It doesn't have to be October. Um, you know, October is ending soon. But those of us um, that love this type of thing keep spookiness in our heart year-round. I hope you have a fantastic Halloween. Don't forget to think about me. Eat lots and lots of candy, whether you stay in or go out. And until next time, guys, have a fabulous week. See you later.